David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another notebook review. Uh, one of the things I love about this hobby is discovering new things, especially things that you didn't initially care about. Uh, when I started out in this hobby, I really only cared about pens. I, I really didn't think that much about ink. I had one bottle of Black Parker Quink, and I was happy. I, I thought to myself, you know what, I'm good. I really can't imagine myself getting into inks. Well, if you saw my recent Instagram post showing how I organized my ink drawers, you'll know that I indeed got into inks. Uh, then I thought to myself, you know, I'm really not that into paper and notebooks. Well, now I find myself getting excited about paper and notebooks and journals. Uh, it's really seemed like a natural progression, not necessarily intended, but natural nonetheless. A while back, I received a couple of custom handmade notebooks by Anna Bach, who goes online by the moniker of Gats BCN. Um, I'm always interested in the origins of names. Uh, Gats is a take on the uh, Catalan word for cat, which is Gats, G-A-T-S. Uh, Catalan is a language spoken in some regions of Spain and a couple of other places. Uh, Anna just throw a, uh, threw a Z on the end there for fun. And uh, BCN is an abbreviation for Barcelona, which is where she lived for a while. Uh, uh, and Anna was nice enough to send me two more of her creations. And that's what I'll be showing you today. So in order to get a better look at these two notebooks, please join me over here at camera two. Okay, I have two different products to go over and they are considerably different from one another. Uh, this is the first one. Uh, Anna calls this a refillable journal. Um, there is an elastic closure uh, and that it's made from black leather. Um, there's the outer hide and then inside you have the softer suede. Uh, and inside there's actually elastic holders for three different notebooks. Um, that any flexible A5 notebook is going to fit in here. And then there's also a version of this product that will accommodate uh, an A6 notebook. Uh, now, I, if you've ever wondered about paper size, for the longest time I would get them confused and not really remember what an A4 was or an A5 was. Um, just for example, this is a Rhodia A4 pad, which is kind of the 8.5 by 11-ish. And then what happens is if you cut that in half, then you have something which is an A5 pad, which is basically the A4 cut in half. Uh, and then, if you cut that in half, then you have something like this um, Hobonichi, which is A6, which is the A5 cut in half again. And then, I don't have an A7, but a 7 would be cut in half, but I do have an A8, which is half of that half. So basically you could see that uh, the, as the higher the number gets, the smaller the size. But they are all in proportion, which is kind of cool. This notebook actually comes with three 100-page notebooks. So with my advanced math skills, I can calculate that that equates to 300 pages. And each of these uh, included notebooks are hand-bound 52-gram Tomoe River paper. Um, and you have a choice between white and cream. Um, there are op also options for lined and dotted paper as well. Um, I really love this paper. 52-gram uh, Tomoe River is one of my favorite papers. It's very, uh, it's very thin, but I just like the feeling of it. To test out the paper, I wanted to use uh, an ink that had a bit of sheen to it. Uh, and so I ended up using this Organic Studio Walden Pond, which is just about all sheen. And this is the sample. Uh, and this I used here with a Pilot Parallel, a 2.4 millimeter. Uh, and then a couple of swabs here. This swab I uh, used a Q-tip for, and this is more of a smear. And you could really tell the sheen that's on that ink. And this Tomoe River paper really helps show off sheen uh, when it comes to inks. Um, and then for some writing samples, I used three different pens. Uh, the first one here was just the, is a one I picked up at the Atlanta show, which is from the Carolina Carolina Pen Company. Uh, and it, I don't, I'm not even sure if it has a name, but this is what this amazing pen looks like. Um, 
I, I will definitely be showing more of this pen later, but this kind of coppery brown and brilliant blue, uh, this thing is just fantastic. I am loving this pen, uh, but it has a fine nib. And then for a medium sized nib, I used something which is pretty much one of my wettest pens in my collection, which is this Visconti Opera Crystal Midnight. Uh, like I said, it's probably one of the wettest pens in my collection and I really wanted to test this paper out. And then finally, the last pen I used was something with a 1.1 millimeter nib, which is this Additive Pens Double Helix. Um, I've reviewed this pen before, if you, uh, recently, somewhat recently. Uh, it's actually 3D printed, the barrel is. Uh, it's something that's very interesting and very unique. So you'll probably be seeing lots of this just because it's cool to show on camera. Uh, and then the uh, the inks I used, I ended up uh, for the Carolina Pen Company, that was the Robert Oster Carolina Blue, the exclusive for the Carolina Pen Company for the uh, Visconti, that is, uh, that's Irosuzuku Konpeki, and then for the additive pens, that is uh, the Birmingham Pen Company Andy Warhol Pop Art Purple. Okay. In regard to paper performance, there is no feathering at all. Tomoe River is great in those regards. Um, you can see here that there is a fair amount of ghosting. The 52 gram paper is rather thin, so that's to be expected. Um, it handled the Q-tip application just fine. Uh, it, there was a little bit of bleed through here on the smear. I did apply a hefty amount here, so it's really stress testing the paper. It's far more ink than you would typically ever apply. Uh, and you can see here in the writing samples that while there is some ghosting, there's no bleed through at all, even with the very wet Visconti. Um, also, something I really like about these notebooks is the binding on here. Um, it's kind of small, but I just kind of like these little longer threads that tie around the knot. Uh, I, you know, it just kind of reminds me that this was made by hand and not by a machine. Um, one of the very nice things about this is the refillable access, or the refillable uh, portion of this notebook. Once you've used up a notebook, you can physically take it out, and you can fill it back up with your choice of a flexible A5 notebook. Um, I have a number of these notebooks uh, that are available through Goulet Pens. When I was actually starting out in this hobby, I would write out my feelings about every pen I purchased. Uh, this is actually before I started doing reviews. I, I filled up six or seven of these. This was book number five that I filled out. Um, I actually had one entry in here where I was contemplating starting to do reviews and I kind of wrote out all the pros and cons as well as everything I would need to do in order to produce what I felt was a quality product. Uh, and it's funny because at the end of that entry, my thoughts were that maybe I should just do a blog and have written reviews rather than just video reviews. But then I changed my mind and I'm glad I did. But uh, these books or any replacement book basically just slips right in here and then you're good to go. Uh, and that it's not going anywhere. Um, I really like the flexible ac uh, aspect of this notebook. Uh, you could roll it up to fit into a pocket. You could really squeeze it in here. Um, it's not really doing it any harm, or you could roll it up, um, and that the soft leather is just very nice. Um, that, you know, when just starting out using this journal, I had to play around with the plastic or with the elastic enclosure a bit to keep it out of the way. Because when you're working on this very first book and it's rather thin and the elastic closure is right there, that you can kind of feel it a little bit. So I'd tuck that in. But then once you get a little bit into that first book, then uh, it wasn't an issue at all. Okay, this was notebook number one, but let's get on to the star of the show, which is notebook number two. Now, this is what that one is. Uh, that Anna really doesn't have fancy names for her notebook. Um, they are more descriptive. Uh, on her Etsy store, this one is simply called Blue Leather Journal with Feather Charm. Um, this is a handmade case-bound notebook, and I think it looks amazing. Um, it's leather, and it's dyed by hand, leaving a distinctive and unique pattern in color on both sides of the cover. Um, on the back, uh, Anna can emboss a name, if you wish. Uh, she was nice enough to add uh, fig boot to this one for me. Uh, and this lettering is actually gilded with real copper. So over time, this is going to develop a patina, which I just think is pretty cool. 
Um, the spine on the notebook here is smooth, but um, I've seen this same notebook up on Anasite and it has ribs. Um, now, uh, ribs, let me look, show you what one of her other notebooks look like. This is one I reviewed previously. This is what ribs are, these lines that are here on the spine. And I think they're pretty cool. It kind of gives it kind of an old look to it. Uh, this one didn't have spines, but I have seen uh, this one up on her site uh, with, sp with, I'm sorry, with ribs. And in regard to that other notebook I just showed, I'll put a link in the notes below if uh, you're interested in checking out that previous review. Um, something I love about this notebook is this little red, white, and blue piece right there. Uh, it's just kind of a nice of pop of color. Uh, and, you know, you could see here on the sides of this notebook where the paper was cut, um, you know, that it's little touches like that that kind of remind me that this is not something that was mass produced by a machine. Um, it is constructed by hand and little things like that add to just what makes this notebook very special. Um, there is a, a, a blue bookmark here, which matches the color nicely of the notebook. There are 384 pages of Fedrigoni 90 gram paper. It's a paper that I really wasn't familiar with that much before um, I, I reviewed Anna's previous journal. Um, with paper, the higher the number, the thicker the paper. So just for example, here is a, um, here is a, a Hippo Noto notebook which has 500 pages of 68 gram Tomoe River paper. And that pretty much is equal to the 384 pages of the slightly thicker paper. Um, I like this floral design that's used on the interior cover. Um, I just kind of think it adds a bit of a flair and whimsy to this notebook. Uh, in regard to paper performance, Similar to that other notebooks, uh, or the other notebook I showed here are, is a Q-tip swab, and this is more of a smear. Uh, and then there are the three uh, writing samples from the pen. Now, with this paper being thicker, um, I would expect that there would be uh, not as much ghosting as we saw earlier, and you would be correct. Uh, there is a small amount, but nothing significant at all. Um, and it's impressive how the paper actually handled that heavier smear with zero bleed through. Um, I'd have no problems or issues using both sides of this paper. Um, one thing I like about this notebook is the somewhat thin cover. Uh, in comparison to that other journal I showed you earlier, here that one is, you can see that that this cover is a little bit thicker, um, and while it's nice, I, I kind of prefer the, uh, the thinner cover of this blue one. And this notebook just feels great in the hand. Now, there's an issue when it comes to nice notebooks like this. Uh, the inherent danger is that you are going to be hesitant to use it. Um, it's like you're afraid to use it because you don't want to ruin it. Uh, and also, we kind of have a tendency to feel like nothing we have to say is worthy enough to be written in a book so cool as this. Now, it's taken a while, but I've gotten over that fear. Notebooks are meant to be used. No matter what you put in them, you could put in 384 grocery lists in here and it wouldn't matter. Just use it. Um, I, carry this, I carry that Hippo Noto journal around with me every single day. Uh, it's what I use to write a lot of my reviews, and I'm just a few pages from finishing this book. And while I love that journal and have other uh, Hippo Notos that I will use in the future, um, I've decided to make this my everyday carry notebook. Now, I'm, I'm not particularly hard or abusive to my EDC items, but I realize that this notebook is going to get beat up and significantly worn. Um, even just from the act of putting it in and out of my bag I carry to work each day. I did the math and I put my uh, Hippo Noto in and out of my bag about 1500 times. So this is going to get a lot of wear and tear. And while I love to take care of things and keep them as pristine as possible, uh, you know, I'm going to get used to this. I'm going to get use out of this notebook and notebooks are meant to be used. That's what makes the notebook happy. And the notebook Book wants to be happy. It doesn't want to sit on a shelf gathering dust. Uh, though this does, this book does look great sitting on a shelf. 
But over I, uh, time, I feel that the wear and tear and dings and stains and, and kind of bends on the side are only going to add to the character of this very cool notebook. Um, in regard to price, the bl refillable black leather journal, this one here, is $41 for blank paper and then $54 for lined or dot grid. Um, the smaller A6 size is available um, only with blank, uh, either white or cream paper, and is $32. For the case-bound journal, um, with the Fedragoni paper, it's $73. And if you would care for Tomoe River, then it's $116. Now, that's more than you would typically pay for a mass-produced notebook, but I believe you're getting a lot more for your money here. And also, I like to support talented and creative people who are producing high-quality handmade products. Um, I would strongly recommend checking out all of Anna's offerings on her Etsy store. I'll put a link in the notes below so you can check out all of her amazing work. Um, when you do check out her site, make sure to use the discount code FIGBOOT10 for 10% um, off your entire order, which is very nice. Uh, thanks again. Go out to Anna for sending these notebooks. They are truly something special, and I will really enjoy using these for a very long time. Uh, these are definitely notebooks that I would highly recommend. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.